planner people it's Billy back again to film another video for my happy planner classic vertical it's the Disney princess planner and today I'm gonna be planning for the month of February and I'm gonna be using a kit that I purchased on Etsy from ever-changing plans it is a 7x9 kit I don't know if you can see that um, Cat hashtag kit seven by nine ever changing plans. You can find her on Instagram and Etsy. Um, but this is the February kit. Um, I ordered the extra. Um, I can't remember what this page is called, but it's an extra page. So this is the actual monthly page, and then this is an extra page that you can purchase that has some extra checklists and circle boxes and extra um, square boxes. So we're going to get started. February here, and I've got some things already marked off. So let's see. Got some birthdays. birthdays. February is busy for birthdays for me. So, first thing I want to do actually is put on the header here. So let's just see. We measure I believe I'm going to have to cover up the frog, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah, I'm going to have to cover up the frog. For sure. I don't know if I want to take it. I guess I'll take it from... Take it from the top here. And I apologize, I don't say much because I'm concentrating so hard and you cannot see. I'm concentrating so hard on trying to focus on what I'm doing, so I'm not really saying much. That's pretty. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. I may have to trim a little bit because I don't want to cover up my 2021, so we'll see what happens. It's very impressive how those of you that are experienced with this that you can just talk and talk and talk and have a conversation and still stay focused and on task. It's very impressive. All right, so let's trim off that little piece there. I do also have all of my spread photos for the year so far and on my Instagram, bjmiller0118 underscore plans if you want to take a look at those because um, I don't have videos of those except for the week of January 25th. Um, like I said, I'm new to YouTube, so I'm still trying to figure out what it is that I'm doing. All right, so the next thing we have is we have the days of the week. We have date dots. Um, we have this sidebar, so I need to, let's do that next. And then I'll figure out where to co cover up or hide the frog. And if, maybe I don't have to. If I start here, what would that look like? 
I start there and just cover him up. Hmm. Or if I start down here, then I would have to put something up top to cover him because if not, you're going to see the white out. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go for it. Just going to cover Mr. Frog up there. And again, try to make this as straight as I can. That's not terrible. Okay, now I think I will let's see how many. One, four, five, six, seven empty boxes, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. That will work unless I want to. No, I don't think I'm going to. I was trying to think I might put these boxes in where all these birthdays go, but. I think I'm going to use them for what they were intended to be used for, which is the empty squares. So, that's what I'm going to do. Made up a lot. In no particular order. Actually, a lot. I want the heart to go up here since it's Valentine's month. And these boxes don't fit exactly, but that's okay with me. Not sure how this goes. I think it goes like that. I like that box right there. I like the boots. Let's see. These two are similar. So I think I'm going to separate these with these two over here. These are a little bigger down here, so from this um, extra page, they're a little bit bigger. So they are going to cover the whole thing. And that's crooked. Don't rip. Oh, good. Okay. So. Overlap just a hair, but this uh, box here will, should fit nicely in this extra space here. Yeah, there we go. I could trim that off, but it's not bothering me, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. And then this uh, last box here. I'm going to put, I think, maybe right over here underneath the full length box. I think that will fit. Yep. Right here in the corner. I'm liking 
liking it so far. I like the colors, the pinks, the greens, the reds. Um, let's see. The next thing I want to do is add the days of the week. I'm just going to put it right up there even with the top border. I love Etsy. I follow many shops on Etsy. Um, this is one of my favorite shops, Ever Changing Plans. This is not a Happy Planner specific kit, obviously, um, but you can make them your own. You can make them work. Cute, cute. Okay, so now let me just put in there's some. Oh, there's a header box I can probably put right here just to fill that space. So I won't write anything right there, but if I wanted to write something, I can write it on this. Line it up with the actual long box. Let's try that again. Okay, there we go. Now I think I'm gonna use. I am gonna use these um, number covers, but I'm not gonna put that on the video because it takes a long time and. It'll just, you know, the numbers will just be red instead of black. So, um, let's see. I'm going to use these small um, boxes here to notate all of these sticky notes that I had on here. Um, start with these here that don't have time slots. Add a sticky note there. And right here. And right here. And here.
February 12th. So we'll put this one right here. And there was another day marked that I can't remember what day that was either. that one with a star and I've got some tweezers there they are on the 17th here fifth tenth thirteenth eighteenth the twenty sixth My sticky notes here. Now, the next thing that I want to do, like I said, I'm going to add the numbers later. I want to. What else can I use on this page? I will have a payday. Don't think there's any days off in February. also has little dinner stickers, groceries, birthdays, um, an alarm clock, and some other bullets you can use. Um, I'll mark this payday. We'll be right here. And let's see. Off of this other sheet um, it does have two strips of washi on this page and there are also two or is this one this is this is one or two i think this is one big one on this page um so i could use that and i may use these washi strips in february spreads so what i like to do with these is keep them in my planner in the front cover so i can grab them if I need them quickly. Um, another February month label, three circle stickers that you can write in. You can see the, the lines. Some more um, boxes that you can write in. Checklists, um, bullet points, but I'm gonna use these words here for, let's see, this month. And to do, and um, I might do work, even though I keep my work calendar on a separate sheet in this planner, and I can show you that in another video if you're interested. Um, because it's kind of busy and I don't like to combine because then my, my monthly looks busy and I just like to keep them separate. So I'm gonna put work down here. And I'll do to do in the middle. And this month at the top. call this spread pretty much done again like I said I'm gonna put the, the dots on there the number dots just to because they match and then I do have extra bullet points I have extra small boxes I can write in and some icons some washi strips and then pretty much this whole sheet um, 
to use as I need to for the month of February just to kind of keep everything matching. So I'm going to put these pages back in the planner. I forgot to do that on my very first plan with me when I realized the camera was off. So put this one back and then I'll let you see what it looks like. And there we have February 2021 done. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to subscribe, I would love for you to do that. Just hit the subscribe button. Feel free to leave me any comments in the comment section. And again, you can follow me on Instagram if you would like to see some of my other photos from January. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.